Hi again, welcome back. Now, uh, last time we were here, we had just turned these links into dynamic links, so they all go to the same page. You notice category.php, um, and they were just sending the ID of whichever category you clicked on, and they were sending this through in the get method. In other words, it, it's passed in the URL. Now, behind the scenes in our code, we had set up a dynamic query, which was this great big long query here on line 7, um, and at the end we were only getting information for those items that actually had a category ID that matched that of the one we'd selected, and you can see there that dot means we're concatenating or joining on the ID that was being pulled down from the URL. So we've run that, that query, um, and basically now we need to display the data, so we have to um, find a way of displaying either one result or lots of results. So um, to start with I'm just going to put the name of the category we selected at the top of the page. So I'm just changing that to a header so it stands out a bit. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to echo something from this stock RS array. Now that's the array up there. It's an associative array. Um, because it's an array we need to use square brackets and then the thing that I'm displaying is cat name and if you remember from last time cat name which I've got up here highlighted that is an alias uh, which I created now we need to create that because when we did our, um, our selection query there were two tables here that had a column called name the stock table and the category table which is a, probably a lack of uh, forethought on my behalf but anyway uh, and one way to deal with that is to create an alias so here when we selected the name from the category table we just set it up as an alias we called it cat name so when I want to display that information on the page, down here I refer to it as cat name. So that will all going well. I'll save that and just test it. Uh, now when I click on skirts, there you go, it displays the name of the category I am clicking on. So our next step is to display the other results, all the stock items. Now because we're going to be dealing with potentially quite a few of them, um, we're going to need to create a loop that will loop through our result, result set or record set and display them all. So I'm going to do a do while loop. So in PHP I'm going to say do and we're going to do everything inside these curly braces while something is true. And that thing that is true is actually pretty identical to line 9 right at the top there which is um, while this uh, stock RS array is equal to this MySQLI which is associative and the thing that it was working on was the stock query variable so basically uh, I guess if you want to think of it this way while there is something to be organized into this associative array continue to loop through so it'll just go through that many rows um, now I could just echo out the name but I want to do some formatting so I will put in a bit of HTML in here so I'm just going to temporarily stop the PHP and then I will restart it down there. So inside our loop I'm just going to put in a div tag and I'm going to give it a class I call this item so that's, this is already in the uh, style sheet which is attached uh, and you can download that. I'll just close that div tag so we know it's closed. Now um, that div tag I think it's been set to float left and it's it's got a width and a height and so it should just create a nice little um, almost what we how would you describe like a little tabular uh, like a table layer uh, and in each one I'm going to display or echo from the uh, stock record set the name of the item so what this means is as I go through my uh, through my records it should every time it loops through it will show the next item so here we go if I go to skirts there you are you can see it's done the four that come up as skirts dresses there were four and so on and in fact I can just go to um, my database here just quickly to show you where this is all coming from if we go to my stock table um, when we select just the skirts what it's effectively doing and I'll just this will be, uh, um, so you don't need to do this just this is just demonstrating something this is running the query where it's just returning those items they have a category ID of one, so belong to the skirts. So you can see there are my four skirts. So when I click on skirts, you can see there's the four things. 
um, first time it loops through in my do while loop it will display this pattern knit convertible skirt the second time it will be the linen embroidered tie back and so on and if I just come back here for a second there they are there in order so um, that's the first thing uh, the next thing is we probably want a little bit more information so I might put a, uh, a price there and then I guess we can turn these into links that will take us to yet another page so in my code I'm just going to add the price so just on a new line in fact we would best probably to put these in paragraphs I think so I'll just clear a line here and put the name in a paragraph and then we're going to put the price in a paragraph so I'm just going to have some text that says price the dollar sign um, and then we're going to use PHP again to echo from that stock RS array the price. Now the remember price is one of the column headings in our database. So if I now test that we should get the price appearing. You can see there. So now the formatting is not great but you get the idea anyway of how to pull the information down. So uh, that's really how to display multiple items um, and I'll, I guess I've style them a little bit with some CSS. Uh, a next step, and we'll do this in the next video, is just to turn these into dynamic links which will then go to a third page which we'll call uh, I think item and that page will then display all the information about each of these items so that's where you get maybe a full size photo and, and so on. So uh, we'll get to that next time. Thanks for watching.